Hello, everyone. I'm Doobie CX. And I'm a widow gassy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> don't ask. Um let's uh let's let's try that. Let's try that again. I'm Doobie ZX. Guess what we're gonna be doing today? It rhymes with Schmelden Bing. If you guessed Elden Ring. You're wrong. Uh, this is just a gateway. We gotta put in the Konami code here, and then we're gonna go to Melden Sing. A beautiful karaoke game. Alright, I just woke up. You all can't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> for being an actual idiot. <laughs> um. Fartificos journey continues once more as ever. If when there is our the when we when if ever if you would decide to be as far as ever to go when you are to be like as if. And um something funny that I've realized is that uh, in all the playthroughs I've done after my first one, I have somehow managed, because of the whole uh, you don't want to end the Volcano Manor questline too early thing, I kind of, I haven't done Volcano Manor, like, since my first time ever, so now that we're finally in a position, I think... To be able to comfortably clear out Volcano Manor, we're gonna go ahead and do that because, um. I mean, no, <laughs> why not? More than anything, it helps me stall off doing the, um. Well, mm, I'm just remembering. I never killed a fire giant. Ooh. That's a little annoying. Um, let me let me go take a crack at that. Call it a warm up, if nothing else. And mind you, I certainly do need a warm-up. I haven't played the- I think I haven't played the game since I last streamed it. For all intents and purposes, I've been very busy. Uh, and it's paid off. I got a promotion at work. That's pretty cool. But, um... Uh, I've certainly not had too much free time and or energy. But alas, then is then, this is that, thus, that, this, now, Alexander, I choose, wait, where's my point? The one time I need, it's not here, I choose you. Uh, I didn't have point here, alright, we'll just put the ring. I meant to jump, reflexes.exe still loading.
I don't know what's in my physics class right now, but uh, I'll take it. Dodge. I guess maybe my fat finger just forgot to lift it by just the faintest hair of a moment. <laughs> I guess. I guess I picked the wrong move to make that mistake. Excuse my silence being more silent than usual. I actually am trying to gather my focus here. Also, I lost my runes. I forget how many they were. We'll keep it that way since I'd rather not be annoyed that I vaguely recall like 50,000 runes, but maybe I'm thinking of another playthrough. Alright. Maybe, just maybe, jumping is not the right answer there. stars do some work here. No! Because he just walks out of it. Lovely. I'm a magician. I want to be using magic, but I don't know what to use. Well, carry and slicer might work. What? <laughs> I didn't notice him completely turn around. I was a little surprised to see that foot facing backwards. Oh, that's some damage. thinking maybe hitting him anywhere is better than this. <laughs> Hit him in the nards! That'll do something! I gotta move! Nope. 
gonna heal one more time just to be safe because this is going a little too well. Oh! Well, I can end this right here. Goodbye. I don't have a thing. All right. I don't know if you can tell, but I was a little tense there. But I think we're good. Um. All right. Easy enough. No, we've certain. Well, let me go ahead and level up before I forget. And I guess we'll just keep dumping in intelligence. More mind might not be a terrible thing. Nah, I have enough mind. Somehow. I forget what playthrough it is, but I have 30 mind on another playthrough and I feel like I run out there. And, like, this is by far my most FP-hungry playthrough, so... I don't know. Here it feels like it's working, so... You know, I think this place should have had more, like, raging fire, because that just looks like... <laughs> it looks like that fire giant's toilet bowl. <laughs> In reality, all those cries of agony weren't his leg. He was like, oh, I have to take a shit! Oh! Why won't you let me share? Uh, let me... Okay. Uh, I thought that this interaction with Melina happens as soon as you sit here, so... You know what? We'll leave that for later. Back to the manor. Um, I know this guy's been here before, but I feel like he's also disappeared. Does he say anything new? ambitions, though blasphemous, marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer... Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him. On it. To spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnish. Yeah, this is stuff I've already heard. Well, maybe not in this playthrough? I don't know. He's just telling me. Uh. Well, you'll see. <laughs> also, there is some stuff with Raya. There is some stuff with Raya in this place, and I do want to see her questline completed because, like I said, I haven't been back to Volcano Manor in any other playthrough. So, I haven't done Raya's quest either. And I mean, at this point, 
say what you will, I'll, I'll be looking up how to do it. I'm not going to try and figure it out from scratch. I have a vague idea of what it is, because I've already kind of read up on it, but I'll need to refresh myself. Look, it's the the illusory wall, the one everyone's talking about. Uh, it's been patched at this point, but uh, for the uninitiated, there were, I think, two, and this was one of them. They were illusory walls that had like 99. They had 9,999 HP instead of just the one HP that they usually have. Um. And you could break into the room with uh, Bernal and this other guy. Why you would want to? No one knows, because it seems like more than anything that was a design oversight, especially since, uh, like I just said, they patched it out. It was an interesting little thing. I never got to actually break that door down. kind of wish I did. I kind of wanted to toss in Founding Reign of Stars there, but, uh, oh well. I really don't remember a lot of this. So this might be a more interesting experience than I expected. <coughs> Welcome to Hotlands. I don't even remember if that's actually the Hotlands theme. Now, before oh no, I actually do need to go the other way. So there's like a little skip you can do to get up there the wrong way that I accidentally did it. Well, not accidentally. There was a sign that kind of said. Because there's like a little peg on a bridge that comes up here. And you can jump up to there and kind of whoop up there. But it seems we'll have to find another way around. Uh, I know these enemies were kind of asset swapped from Dark Souls 3. Uh, let me say I love them in this game. They were hideous and disgusting in Dark Souls 3 as the, the Arc Dragon Peak enemies. Here they're so... <laughs> they're cute. They're silly. <laughs> I'm quite fond of them. Even if they still manage to, to murder me here. Yeah, that's what I expected. That angle's way too shallow for those. Um. Well, I can do this. Well, well, yeah, I can just come down here and kill them. I somehow thought this area was less interconnected than it actually is. In the sense that, like, if you take the wrong path, you have to go all the way back around. I remember that being the case when I went through here. Well, if you fall off the whole rooftops, yeah, but... I mean, even then you just... Well, no. Yes, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. Oh, 
Why? What? Why am I heavy? Oh. I left the wrong thing on. My bad. thing do my glint blades hit from here no they don't darn it um okay wait if this thing can't roll over this way then like This seems like a pretty interesting spot to fight it from. Unless it rolls all the way away, that's less fun. No, you wouldn't. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, let's be clear, I'm glad that's the case. I was worried it wouldn't be. Now, abductive virgins aren't that hard. I really could get up there and fight it, but I don't know. I'm feeling in a cheesy mood today. Actually, I am enrolled in an online class, and I do have a final due today. I should probably be a little bit more worried about that. Uh, but I am at least a bit worried about that. So I am trying to conserve brain matter. Nope. Oh well. I don't think that was anything I needed. I miss Agila's Moonblade. I really do. I get that it was a little... a little stronger than it needed to be, but... I wish everything else felt better to compensate. Alright, this is not a good spot to be in. But I'm, I'm stuck. Nah, now you're. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was. I thought I broke free. If I would have actually died there, I would have been amused but annoyed. That works.
<laughs> I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of... How do I put it? Relieved that I'm doing this on a second playthrough because I remember this place enough, or rather, I don't remember it enough that it feels more like a first playthrough. And this silence... Uh... Is me trying to actually map out the place as if not if I've been here for the first time. I'm vaguely familiar with stuff here, but I'm vaguely familiar with the architecture and, and what leads where. But um, by and large, I don't remember what's actually here. If that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I'm more quiet than I expect it to be. So. Maybe it was good that I played the game the first time on my own. Uh, wait, what? I want to go on that side. Oh, there was an item up here too, I guess. Okay. Well, I say okay, I don't know how to get up on this ledge. Oh, uh, I guess we gotta go up there and drop off. Did, wait. What? Oh, we dropped down here now. Yeah! Golem! Buddy, old pal of mine! It's been a while! How you been, man? Well, uh, it being a while is probably more my fault than anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> I offer a small, humble apology, but, uh... How's it going? Where? They should be in this menu. Oh, I do have plenty of keys. You're fine. I'm glad to hear that. Very glad to hear that. Make no mistake. Okay, I'm stretching. Ugh. Can I... Can I just... Okay. Sure. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's more what I was expecting. What? Glowing eyes is more souls? You are correct, Golem, but consider the following. I don't feel like fighting, at least not fighting fair. And maybe it doesn't feel like fighting fair either. Uh, actually... <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, never mind! It's learned! It's evolving! Uh, I found an abductor virgin earlier and I just kind of sat on a ledge and cheesed it. But, I think I'm gonna have to actually fight this one. Uh, ideally better than this. Doobie. Please.
that works. Woo! That was definitely worth the trouble. I didn't expect 15,000 souls or runes. I don't even remember what item I picked up in here, but the runes was worth it. Assuming I don't lose them, which, uh, hmm. We'll see about that. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, I know there's more than a few ways in here, I just don't remember where those few ways are. I also remember, uh... Yeah... Um... Can I... Can I hit them all with Rain of Stars if I pick the right spot? What?! Why?! Who okayed this decision? Uh, have I tried Glintstone Pebble Weapon Art? Uh, I've tried it off-stream. I wasn't a fan, mostly because of the range. If it was the actual full range of a normal pebble, I'd probably be a little bit more interested in it. But, uh, I get that it's strong, I just plainly don't like it. I understand why it's very desirable in PvP, but for PvE, I just... Eh. I know that it does confirm into the thrust follow-up, but, um... I don't know. I just find, even if it's strong, I find it to just be a boring ash. Glint Blade Phalanx has just a little bit more uh, potential variety to it that I like. You can substitute as a proper uh, range spell. Well, it's the mostly proper. Uh kind of force the enemy AI to make mistakes so I can confirm a follow-up that way. I was hoping for a stagger on that second hit. This is not the front gate, this leads out to the, uh, to this side, yeah. And I could head that way because I don't remember what of interest actually lies this way. There is one thing that I want from Volcano Manor before we, uh, finish it out, but it's very much... Uh, in our way. We can't miss it. You played with the Golden Halberd. That still has a buff, though. And I would sure hope you made use of that. Well, that's kind of hypocritical of me, because, um... Hilariously enough, the default Ash for Zweihander, and the one that it was, the one that it had back in Dark Souls Three, I never used. <laughs> so uh, I can't quite prod at you with the implication that you have to use the Ash.
Uh, yeah, I can't disagree with you there, that the buff is boring. It's something, but... Meh. That being said, um... I'm not awfully excited by a lot of ashes definitely like the further you get into the game there's a lot of cool stuff and especially on the unique weapons but for the stuff that you can equip on whatever there's not a whole lot of stuff that i actually like although that being said just because we're on conversation they did buff Carrion Grandeur in this last patch, and I messed around with it a bit, and it feels pretty good. So I'm going to try and use it for a bit, because why not? Oh, nope, wrong button. That's a lot of damage! That really is. That's that hit harder than I expected. I want to say maybe those things are weak to magic damage somehow, but I was expecting more in the neighborhood of like fifteen hundred, not not two point two. So it's 1.8, but I got a sneak hit on one of them. Okay. I don't think that's how I was supposed to get up to that spot, but... I'll sure take it. Okay, I might have just killed myself. Emergency retreat. No! funny that you mentioned halberds. In general, there's a lot of weapon types. So, let me backtrack a little bit. When I got into Dark Souls, it was for the streams and stuff. Uh, I started playing Dark Souls 1 last year. I'm late to the series. I kind of... I took my time getting through it, but I only really had time for one playthrough uh, for each game. So that left me with a lot of weapon types that I wanted to use, and uh, halberds are one of them from uh, For Honor. Lawbringer was one of my favorite characters, so I've always wanted to make a big beefy man with a halberd. I, in another playthrough, I was running through Stormvale with Taunter's Tongue and, like, even even in Stormvale, I ran into like two or three Moonvale users, so I wanna laugh more at your joke, Golem, but it's more of like a defeated sigh <laughs> that I have to let out. <laughs> now mind you Moonvale, I don't think, should be nerfed. Well, if you want to dial it back just a tiny bit, like, literally like 5% less damage or something, sure. But functionally, I feel like it's not so much that it is too strong as much as other ashes should aspire to be like it. Because it just... It, I haven't used it, but from what I've seen of people handling it, it just seems like it, it, it works well. 
so I can't blame people for using it too much. Uh, Rivers of Blood. Because, of course, we have to mention that if, if the conversation went in this direction. Uh, Rivers of Blood is a different story. If they make bleeds not hit through uh, iframes, then I think Rivers of Blood would be okay. Until then, I, I don't like fighting any bleed weapons. Like, at all. In storm in my Stormvale stuff. It wasn't Rivers of Blood, but every other person had Reduvia, which is the uh the bleed dagger you get from from what's his name? From Narius early on. Um Everyone had that. It was annoying to fight the end. There's a boss coming up, I gotta focus. Look, Ma! I'm Monster Hunter! Can I hit the tail or the leg from here? Nope. Wasted FP. If you could just, you could just walk this. Okay, you're walking this way a little too fast. I mean, okay, annoying, but you're right where I want you. I don't like these guys when they stand up. Really don't. I didn't even know I could thrust like that. I really am Monster Hunter! <laughs> Give me the tail cut! Alright, that works. Did I already get the... Oh, I'll pretend I already got the runes for that. Alright, now that I can read your comments, Golem, uh, I liked quite a few characters in For Honor, uh, before it went off the deep end with the new characters, um, and it's a shame because it was a game that really was, it was always on the verge of greatness, but I don't know, the developers didn't quite know what they wanted to do with it. Um, Also, you want a bow gun in Elden Ring. Uh, it might not be the bow gun you wanted, but we have both a light bow gun and a heavy bow gun. I don't have them, but uh, there is the the pulley bolt, not the pulley bolt, the the crossbow, the fires three shot bursts. And even though most people use that for uh, sleep cheese in PvP, it 
I think it does decent damage by virtue of like firing three shots quickly. Um, and if you want a heavy bow gun, there is the uh, either the jar cannon or the that one shield. Supposedly the shield does way more damage, but uh, it fires in a pretty short range. I want to make use of that shield in one of my builds, and it might be my next build, which I've already said it before, but I'm not sure. I, I haven't said it in Discord. I've said it on a stream to someone else. Uh, I'm basically going to remake my Dark Souls 3 build, which is going to be a Zweihander with, uh, with Pyromancy. And... Uh, I'm probably going to stream, maybe not every single second of that build, I'm definitely going to try and stream some of it. I'm thinking I might be able to make use of that shield there. Although, again... Well, not again, I haven't mentioned it yet, but that shield is late in the game, so... I, mm, I should have let that play, but whatever. It's a bridge coming out of the lava, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, crossbows aren't flawed as a concept. Uh, I think in Elden Ring they don't really have scaling, so their damage falls off at some point. I've used a crossbow on this playthrough a bit, and it was okay, but it definitely felt like... Um, it wouldn't quite keep up as well if I started using it later. I mean, I'm not using Moon, uh, this thing, as much as I thought I would. Which is funny, because I had that one stream where I'm like, I'm going to start using it more. I might as well put it on, but I could put on a crossbow for a bit. In Elden Ring, you can't do wield Ballista class crossbows. If the Ballista stuff was in the past games, I wouldn't know. I really didn't pay attention to the to arrows and stuff in general. was me. <laughs> My bad. Dark Souls 2, there was crossbow, there was two crossbow scalings. Um, I don't know why they didn't give uh, crossbows and bows scaling in this game. It's a shame, because if they did decent damage, I would probably want to make a build with them. Just sleep them. Nobles aren't hard. I'm just not good. <laughs> Nope! Thought I switched to my shield there. I 
I had my shield there. What am I doing? Whoops. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Hold up. I'll get it. One more. One more big guy. I won't miss it, I promise. Stop following me! Ah, oh, come on. Whoops. I'm trying to be fancy. I'm not pulling it off as well as I'd hope. Uh, why use crossbow when I have scaling magic? Uh, because crossbows are cool. <laughs> um, really though. Um, I just didn't want to fall into the trap of using pebble for the whole playthrough because I mean, yeah, pe pebble's the best to spell in the game. I know this, but um. I wanted to rely a little bit more on Phalanx, and I like the idea of using Phalanx to kind of cover my, my distance from enemies while pelting them a little bit with crossbows. And ultimately, this crossbow has decent damage. Like I said, it falls off at some point. Uh, and that point is kind of now, but... I used this earlier in the playthrough, and it was a pretty neat little playstyle. The only real reason I don't have it on right now is for weight limitations, because I also wanted to have Dark Moon in my inventory to switch to, but like I said, I'm not using that a whole lot. Also, I do have Intelligence. I could use a Saint Trina Sword, but um, it's not in theme with my builds. I've mentioned this before. I like my characters to be themed. I don't like just thinking, oh, I have Intelligence. I use all Intelligence weapons in the game. I am Fartifical, the fantastic fencing fartist, and uh, St. Trina sort of just doesn't quite fit in with that. I'm not quite pulling this off. I see that coming and I'm just... not doing what I need to. I'd rather not die, so let me... Let me go ahead and not dodge, it's apparently what I want to do. I don't have... How very kind of you to wait for me. Nope, wrong! Let's go! We're good, we're fine.
Sure. Why not? I can see why they're scared to give damage to bows and crossbows, but I think a little bit more than they have now wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't know about bows, I think crossbows are fairly balanced with the notion of needing to reload between each shot, so giving them a little bit more damage, like, not even a little bit, like, a lot more damage, I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh... Those I'm not sure about since I know those can fire a little bit faster. But not much faster, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, magic does the same but better, so there's no reason for them to keep uh, bows and crossbows held under. Also, hooray! Uh, this is a very cool looking heavy thrusting sword. I have debated whether or not to pick it up and uh, switch over to it because even though it looks very cool, it's a super marginal difference in, in damage to this thing. It's basically the same amount of damage. Um, but since the update carrying grandeur being decent and all, I probably will upgrade this and have it in my pocket so that I have access to carrying grandeur and phalanx whenever I want to use them. Uh, that being said, that's gonna have to wait. This isn't just a great ass stock, it's my great PP, and you will address it as such. And it will soon be joined by... <laughs> okay. I've planned this out. For a long time. And I didn't want to give up the, the joke of the great PP. <laughs> so, uh, it will soon be... <laughs> I, I can't even bring myself to say it. In one hand, I have my great PP. In the other hand, I have my foreskin stitcher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I should be, but I am a bit sorry. And I am also preemptively sorry because, yes, I am going to be calling it that when I start using it. See, these are the kinds of weapons that Fartifical, the fantastic f fencing fardel f fresh, fresh and f f hot subway uh, fencer uses. Also, um, strictly speaking, I don't need to go through here anymore. I have the shortcut to Rikard, and I don't think there's really any... Uh, loot that I care about in the rest of this dungeon. But I'm still gonna do it because why not? Actually, how many? Yes, 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 yes. Um, let me. Let me actually go back to round table hold and check what I can do with my upgrades because I think it's been a hot minute since I did that.
Nut Golem if you mean, uh, what's her name? Raya's Quest? No. Still working on it. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually have to go back and check that place for that. So, thank you for reminding me. That being said, I'll do that. After... First of all, after I stretch. <clears throat> Second of all, after I check what I can upgrade. I also know I found some uh, bell bearings, so let me check that too. I found more than a few. Alright, I can buy up to Smithing Stone 6. Cool. Uh, let's be real, Golem. We don't do quest lines in uh, FromSoft games for rewards. Well, sometimes we do, but uh, I honestly care more about just adding some narrative zest to this game because uh, it's perhaps an unpopular opinion, but making the sharp distinction between lore and story and acknowledging that FromSoft games have an incredible sense of lore and world building, uh, the story's not there. There's there's no real sense of progression to this game. You you are dropped into the world, you want to become Elden Lord. That fact does not progress or change in any way, shape, or form until you reach the end. Greeting. The only real story is in side characters, so... Well, even if Raya's quest reward is horrible, the girl has come a long way. It's definitely still entertaining, so technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times that's precisely what she feels like to me. Oh Hugh. I've gone soft. And it isn't easy. I believe in you, Hugh. I really do. In Elden Ring, the open world is more of an annoyance to you. That's a bit of a hot take. Uh, tell me, tell me more, tell me why. Like, I, I can imagine some points you'd make, because there's aspects about it that... That even, that I can, uh, criticize, but still, do, do tell me what you were gonna say. Well, I guess while you write that up, I'll go ahead and give my own thoughts on the matter. Uh, and briefly, I liked the open world of Elden Ring a lot in the, uh, the first time playing it. It was incredible exploring it fresh without having any idea what's where and really finding something around every single corner. What does feel a little cumbersome, though, is uh, I shouldn't be skipping this dialogue. Shaken. By this turn of events, they are busy. But I am going to go ahead and phase it out and finish my point. Um, they are finished, the fingers will again orphan their going back through the game on replays, having an idea of like where quote unquote the good stuff is and where quote unquote anything else is. Uh, how will you ever manage to wait? 
that makes it feel a lot weirder on replays than it should. You really don't want to sit and explore the whole world again when you replay the game because you already know what's where. And uh, it's not a bad thing that it gives you the freedom to approach the game in a variety of ways, but at the same time, it has to feel a little bit odd choosing to skip a lot of content because that's what you do. Once you know how to better progress through the game, you, you try and go for uh more interesting stuff first sometimes you skip areas entirely that you didn't know you could do before blah 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 it's a very strange flow compared to classic dark souls which is just a more or less on rails beginning to end experience or was i i was looking for a merchant to sell my stuff First point, a lot of the narrative of the side quests are lost in the open world map. They needed to hotfix and add the feature to tell you where the NPCs are. So, for the most part, well, it's kind of half and half. Ronnie's quest line to me, never mind the whole uh, <laughs> waifu aspect of it, uh, Ronnie's quest line to me is probably the best FromSoft quest that I've played through. For the simple fact that, like, they actually tell you where to go. <laughs> They're very clear. Uh, Blythe, I need to find this guy. Uh, and there's a place with that name. Uh, Ronnie, go to Nakron. Find me here, find me there. Uh, that's great. And Ronnie's quest flourishes in an open world because of that. And I wish more quests would do that. Because... Um... In that regard, I think I think Ronnie's quest was the most enjoyable from the, blah, blah, the f most enjoyable from soft quest to play through. That being said, a lot of other NPC quests they still tell you or give you hints of where to go. Um, not as clear and concise. Where it does work though is that it tries to keep it in a sort of line. If you find someone in Limgrave, you probably will find them again somewhere else other than Limgrave. And, like, either the quest ends there or you move along somewhere else. For the most part, that's how that is. And if you're looking around in every corner, it's not too hard to get a lot of the quest lines. But that being said, there definitely are some quest lines, uh... Nephili and Millicent come to mind, where you go all over the place. Those are awful. Uh, not for the story themselves, but for the notion that you're expected to be able to figure out where everything is. No, that those those suck. Um, so in that regard, uh, I do agree that certainly making an open world like this brings in some problems with uh, FromSoft's approach to quests. And number two is kind of basically the point that I that I basically just said. That I agree with. That it, it feels very magical and interesting the first time you go through, but when you do new games, it kind of... It feels less interesting than Dark Souls games did on a replay. Emmanuel, hello! Uh, I believe you're a new face around here, so... Uh, welcome! I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoy me pretending that I know what I'm talking about. And probably making a fool of myself in a few moments. Uh, if you don't, I'm still glad that you dropped by and said hi. 
and I hope you have a wonderful day. I think I already said that, but whatever. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, Golem, your third point is one that I... It's there, but I think there's a counterpoint. And the fact is that even if you do spend a lot of time just kind of riding your horses around the place, um, there are still a lot of spots you want to visit. Even in a new game, unless you're like doing, I don't know, rune level one playthrough, uh, there's still a lot of spots you want to visit. So even if you are riding around, you are still doing stuff between the riding around. It's not like truly the majority of your playthroughs just spent getting around the open world. Wow. Uh -oh. Golem's breaking out the Italian. I don't know the Italian, so... Don't look at me! <laughs> That being said, I'm like 70% sure of what he said, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving any tips. <laughs> uh, so I busted up a bunch of my runes just now, the consumable ones, because I forgot that I also want to upgrade my, certainly my staff. The shield, I can consider the shield secondary, but um, if I have the runes to upgrade it, I might as well. So, let me see. I already upgraded the weapons. Mm, I'm going to need... It would be 18. I'll just... I'll focus on the staff. For now. I certainly wish I didn't have to do this back and forth, but I won't. Well, actually, I don't. If I'm focusing on the staff, I need six more smithing stone fives, and I don't have any smithing stone six. So I just need 12 of those. Done deal. You didn't know you could put Ashes of War on staves? You can. There is only, like, one, I think. And, like, you you never really want to use it, but you can. Um. Alright, that staff is as far as it's going to go for now. And... I do have plenty of runes, I might as well upgrade the shield. I'm not using the shield very much, but... Mm, I don't know. Uh... Smith... Five... We... Okay, I need 12 of these. And then presumably 12 of these as well. And I don't have enough runes for that. Great. I... I would have enough runes if I, uh... Busted up a remembrance. That being said, I'm not sure I want to do that for either of these. Maybe the Fire Giant. I don't think Fire Giant has anything that I want on this build. Yeah, there's the whip that I don't really want, and there's an incantation, and I'm not using incantations. Alright, I'ma just crack open an egg to make an omelette. Golem, you think your complaint on the open world is ab? 
simplified by the fact that you can't see any enemies in the overworld. Uh, well, yeah, that'd do that, but it's still kind of a fair point because they do, like I said, going through Elden Ring the first time definitely feels incredible. I still hold that going through Elden Ring the first time earns it the title of legitimately one of the best games ever made. Not to say we can't do better, but it's good. I don't want to pretend for a moment that it isn't. But, um, again, once you know what's where, you realize that a lot of the overworld enemies, uh, first and foremost, they don't give a lot of runes, and they are a pain in the ass to fight. So, uh, a majority of your level ups end up being from exploring and killing bosses. If you spend too much time messing around in the open world, you're kind of wasting time. Because the rewards for simply killing enemies in the overworld, they're not really there. Some of them drop stuff, sure, but like that's something you farm out specifically for a little bit and then you move on and go back to exploring and finding new areas to clear rather than just mowing down everything you see. Uh, on replays, you definitely feel remarkably less incentivized to really to stop and fight, which is a problem because, I mean, hey, well, what else is the point of this game if not to play it? But that being said, that's a point I don't want to hold too harshly against Elden Ring because, I mean, it's kind of true in Dark Souls as well. It's a little bit... how do I put it? It's a little easier to convince yourself to forget about optimal play in a replay of Dark Souls because it's so linear and enemies are in your way. But, the option still exists, you can run around them, and avoid them, and don't kid yourself, you definitely do avoid quite a few enemies on a replay, as opposed to trying to kill everything, so. Alright, we've got everything, I think? Yep, that's upgraded, that's upgraded. This is upgraded, but I can't equip it yet. I'm still gonna go ahead and drop Carrion Grandeur in there before I forget. One more level up and I can use this, so it won't be a long time. Right? Yeah, I'm only missing one dex. Um... Alright. Now, I know two things. One, I was supposed to go back to the Temple of Eglay and check for Raya, maybe? I see that she's not here anymore. But something that I actually meant to do, like, at the start of the stream and I completely forgot, I want to check Patches, because I know his questline was expanded in, uh, in the most recent <laughs> patch. And I am kind of spoiled on where I'm supposed to go. That being said, he's not telling me to do anything, so... I don't know. Oh, if Patches isn't talking to me, I don't know. That being said, maybe he... He'll relocate after. Uh... Oh, oh, okay. Really? Oh, Alright, so this is how you do that. After all. Oh, my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not? Born by the grace of a king. What is this? I remember this scent distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. Very philosophical. Of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know. How I was born, and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. 
this time from the bottom of my heart. I want to know one day. Interesting. Tanith, do you have any thoughts on this? And let me go ahead and refresh this just in case. Um, the incompleted quest lines. I'm actually with you on that, Golem. I'm surprised we're not giving FromSoft uh, more shit about that because, I mean, we usually, uh, at least in the past uh, five, ten years, uh, gaming as a community has definitely not been tolerant of incompleted games. And I mean, yeah, strictly speaking, Elden Ring apparently did not release finished. It released more finished than most games, don't get me wrong, but uh, I also don't like that the quest lines weren't finished when they shipped out. That being said, uh, from a pure game, from a pure gameplay perspective, I uh, I like two things. One, the combat. It's still there. There's still a lot of stuff to play through. And two, uh, build variety. I think build variety in this game is so wildly far and ahead of any of the Dark Souls games, and the open world does kind of lend itself to exploring the game in different ways, too. Uh, it's been fun enough to just replay the game with different builds each time. Yeah, Maybe a little bit more fun because I kind of constrict myself on builds. If you just treat the game as, how do I put it? Uh, intelligence build, strength build, faith build, uh, dexterity build, uh, you can play through the game four times. I mean, d sure, that kind of limits the replay value a bit, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm having a good time, just... Won't you consider have our Lord... Uh... I see, but do know this. To follow the path in order to deflect like a true... I'm having a good time. I have put... Excuse me for the yawn. I think Steam says I've put in just shy of 300 hours, and I'm not really forcing myself. Um, um, I definitely lost Steam since the first playthrough a little bit, but I do still think I'm having a good time. I... Alright, um, kind of cheesy. I don't really know where Raya's questline goes from here, so I am going to look that up real quick. Your <laughs> call of I um Wiki says that I'm supposed to get some dialogue out of Tanith first, so Won't you consider our Lord will I'm gonna go ahead and see the Lord. I will transport you to the Lord's chamber. Here's the thing I forget. I forget. Farewell, then. I forget it. Your visit be fruitful. I forget if this drops me in front of the room or in the room. 
and if it drops me in the room, I'm hoping I can walk backwards. Good. This is what I was hoping for. And I actually didn't expect a grace here, so... Cool. Good. And that's right, it's a sending gate that chucks you in here, so... Alright. Does Tanith say anything in you now? Won't you consider our Lord? Yeah, alright, never mind. Okay, well then. As per Golem's suggestion. <sighs> I know she's supposed to be in a new location. I don't know where. So, we're just going to look around. I wish I had paid attention to how much damage I got from upgrading my stuff, because I definitely got quite a few upgrades here. I have been stuck at like plus 17 weapons for what feels like an eternity. Did I grab this? No, I didn't. Hope that the loss stream for the streaming was a transitionary phase. You can call it that. Uh, it's a little tough to say when uh, my viewership is still a little bit low, but uh, Lost in Steam, that makes a little more sense, but it's still kind of how I interpreted it. Um, yes. For all intents and purposes, know that I have no intention to really stop streaming. It's just that, uh, life is getting busy, and I noticed a trend of me promising that I would do a lot of streams because I wanted to. I really did. And just simply not being able to keep up with that. Um, for all intents and purposes... I'm just trying to be humble and admit that maybe I can't pull off as many streams as I want to for now. But the hope is that once I reach a steady point where I know I can consistently put out, uh, say, one or two streams a week, then I can start seeing if I can more consistently throw in a couple extra. So, yes, you could very much call it a transitionary phase. I'm not giving up. I'm not someone to give up. And as a side note, not that I won't, I mean, not that I will, but if I were ever to decide that, hey, I don't feel like streaming anymore, I would have the decency to, to announce that I would not just uh, disappear without a word. And as that word has not been delivered yet, you have nothing to worry about. Um, another major thing in my decision, and I mentioned it in that post that I made in Discord, I also... It's... Th th a weird thing of scheduling streams is that I'm kind of saying I'm going to play this, and it's kind of hard to... Because, I mean, I, I do this because I enjoy it, right? It is hard to, to, to say a week in advance, Oh, uh, this day I'm going to want to do this. This day I'm going to want to do that. Uh, so 
sometimes that works out, but sometimes uh, the time comes and it's like, I wish I could do something else. And I don't... I just... The point of a schedule is to, to provide a concise... Uh, a concise plan! Something that you can depend on. And if you're constantly changing it, it might as well not be there. Uh, some we need to clean up on aisle three. That's that's unacceptable. Um, if you're constantly changing the schedule, it's unacceptable. Uh, I could just stick to the schedule, but I just mentioned that a problem arises when it's not a schedule I want to stick to. Like I mentioned, I do hope to start putting out some more unscheduled streams uh, for more casual ideas. Uh, for example, I have. And I'll go ahead and check it out real quick, because I might as well. I've been looking for a time to be able to mention this and for it to actually be, be pertinent to the conversation. Uh, I don't think I've really acknowledged it, but I have a fifth character that I made. Uh, this character is supposed to stay at level 90 for the purpose of being able to do multiplayer in uh, most of the game. Uh, it's kind of under-leveled for Mountaintops of Giants. It's kind of over-leveled for doing stuff in, in, uh, Limgrave and maybe a bit of Lyernia. Anywhere else is fair game, and the hope is that, uh, once I'm done preparing this build, because I'm definitely still working on it, I'm close to finishing it, but once I finish this build, I am hoping to be able to hop on and just uh, stream some 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 multiplayer. I'm being very careful not to say invasions because I still don't think I want to invade anyone. But uh, either I could put down a yellow sign and help people being invaded, or I could do the, the hunter ring, or I could use taunter's tongue, uh... In any case, that's something that I want to do. I don't feel like I want to announce that as something major, but when I'm ready, I want to be able to just do it, you know? So... Yeah. that That's another part of my decision in uh, putting out less streams. I think to be a successful content creator, uh, first and foremost is luck. Uh, I realize it's kind of disingenuous of me to say this when I'm still very much small time. I think a nice change could be to say when I stream, but don't lock into. Um, that's an option, but um. That's not a bad idea, but, and don't get me wrong, I appreciate, I, I'm sure you would be interested in, in watching me, not necessarily every single thing I play, but I, I know you would be interested in following me around, uh, because you're, you're a fan, and I'm incredibly grateful for that, but, uh, I say this having been someone who watches streams myself, uh, I don't know why why the game is stuttering so much, but whatever. The uh the um, the stuttering is making me lose my train of thought. People care what game I'm playing is the point. Uh even though I have a couple people in the Discord, I think if I say I'm playing what uh as someone who's been playing Dark Souls all the time, if I say I'm playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land all of a sudden, I think a lot of people are going to think I don't like that game. I don't feel like watching it. Uh, so, to that end, not saying what I'm going to play... Uh, I mean, people might still pop in and check, but... I don't know. If I can help it, I'd rather let people know what I'm doing so that they know how much they want to tune into a stream or not. 
if I had more viewers, it would make a little bit more sense because it would I would likely have more people who would just be happy to hang out with Doobie, you know? But, um... Until we reach that point, I just think this is how I should run things. And let's be very clear, this is how I think I should run things. I am very much an inexperienced streamer. I could be mistaken, and only time will tell. Also, I'm, I'm not missing your message of, uh, well, messages. First of all, about the, the, the comment of PvP and Elden Ring being sane. It's not. <laughs> it really isn't. But, um... I still want to try, you know? The only real concern that I have is that, uh... Connection issues are a big deal. I know that for the most part, most people still disconnect after two minutes of being in someone else's game because uh, anti-cheat is, is, is stupid. Um, if not for that, I'd be a lot more on board with, with doing multiplayer. In fact, I'd probably be running through... Well, no, I can't say that. I was going to say I'd be more into running with, uh, with the Taunter's Tongue right now. But I'd rather not because I'm not good. But yeah, I am trying to look for uh, for the, the tower that you're mentioning. I'm pretty sure I've looked through most of this place when I played through here my first time. So I'm just kind of trying to let memory fill in the blanks. Close to that serpent guy you killed. Well... Uh, I have, when, when I'm not streaming, I have a really good memory. When I am streaming, I have the, the memory of a insentient peanut on the floor. So, <laughs> I don't remember where that serpent guy is. But, uh, I'm dead. Everyone should be respawned. Let me just take this way back and see if I can catch what you, what you, what you're mentioning. <laughs> it's kind of uh it's kind of nostalgic golem to be sitting here and you telling me where to find an npc i have to to laugh and remember all, all the dark souls stuff and all the guidance that i was given to try and uh get all the npc stuff for which i'm incredibly grateful because i know i would have missed like 80 percent of it playing through on my own <laughs> and the delay is another thing. <laughs> uh, time flies. Um, my runes are that way. I'm not going to run across the lava for them. Sir, stop. I don't think I went... Did I... I don't think I went out this way yet. Unless I did... I've lost my orientation. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, runes. <laughs> oh, boy. See, Golem, this is what happens when you make me think. <laughs> I kind of, well, nah. 
Abduct the Virgin attacks like to go through walls, and I was worried I might get sniped if I let this one live. And I mean, maybe I will, but it hasn't been a problem yet, so... I will choose to ignore it. Did, did I just turn off my lantern? So, if I didn't go through that other way, I had to have gone through here. Whoops. Get him! Thank you. So we should be heading. Oh, never mind. Where wasn't there a lift around here? What? Where the hell did I go last time? I guess I really wasn't paying attention. And I, <clears throat> I hate this because I've played through this. I've been here, but I just, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, okay. We came in through the window. We come out through. Oh, well, no, never mind. What in the world? I guess I did go through here and maybe go up into that room. And maybe this is the serpent guy that you were talking about. Oops. I jumped off that... Did, wait. Did I? I think I jumped off this ledge to get an item and then I went down and got stuff that way. I suppose... I'll check around this way a little bit and see if I find that ladder you were talking about. Or no, this is, this is the lift I went through, so... I guess I came up after that. I'm trying to remember because I remember there being a ladder around here. I just can't remember where exactly. It's not going to be along this thing. I'm going to go ahead and check back down here for a second. Uh, if we go this way, we find... We, we go back to there. Now, if we go back down this way... I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go, but just to kind of clear out my head and make sure I've seen everything. Fell from up there. This is here. All right, no, I wasted my time. What in the world? I thought I was scratching my ear. <laughs> I thought I could walk forward. And clearly I can't. Well, I guess I know not to do that now. Also, I don't know if you can hear the pitter-patter of my dog. Uh, I think he wants to go out. Everyone always says to get good, Golem, but no one ever realizes that the first step in getting good is to die and learn that you have to get good. Alright, 
so this is where I came out, this is where I pretty much died the first time. This is where I died, and you said not to go this way, so... Although there is a pathway through here. Let me check out what's this way. Oh! Well... <laughs> that's one way to find her. Oh... It's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child. Born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual. Something that can never be accepted. Not by men. No serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me. Please. I thought that I feared nothing. But this... Free me from this accursed frame. I don't want to do that. I know that you have, but I wish kill me. I thought that I feared not free me from this occur. <laughs> Give me a second because my dog. It might be a mistake to let him go roam around the house when he wants to go out, but I'm going to do that. Yeah, and. I can't take you out right now. Alrighty then. Stay on the bed and wait. I'll try and wrap this up quick. Go talk to Mama. Okay. Also, excuse me, technically there is still a bit more of Volcano Matter to explore, but I don't want to keep my dog waiting to go to the bathroom. Uh, once I figure out what to do with Raya, I will probably teleport to Rykard and Won't you consider put an end to having this. an audience with our Lord? Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit All right, well. treading the path of champions. I see. But do know to follow the path in order to deflect like a true. Alright, Tanith doesn't care about her daughter anymore. Uh, now that I'm ready to go uh, get Vord, so. Oh, I suppose that's that. I, I got you, Gollum. Won't you consider our Lord? I see, but do know to follow the in order to deflect like a true. Won't you consider our Lord? Will I've talked to her a bunch of times already, and she's not doing anything besides this. I don't think I messed it up here, per se. <laughs> the delay is real, Golem. Um, from what I scanned quickly on the wiki, because I, I tried... I mean, I gotta pick up information. Um, I think I might have broken Tanith's progression through Raya's questline by finishing... Uh, the third assassination contract. I think you need to not do that for everything to progress here. Because she's just been wanting to, uh... There we go. The delay is real, because as soon as I finish saying that, you agree with me. 
but yeah, I think that was that. Alright, well... I don't have to teleport anywhere. My choices now are if I want to actually kill Raya or not. Yes, Golem, I agree. Oh. She would have given me a potion to erase Raya's memory. I'm not sure I would have wanted to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm at the point where either I kill her or I kill Rikard. And I'm not sure what I want to do. You know what? My dog's waiting to go out. Uh, we're just gonna throw a dart at the board. I'm gonna go kill Rikard. Won't you can our Lord? Will yes. Now I will trans. We'll see what happens. Farewell then. May your visit be fruitful. I could go for some fruit. And a, well, I didn't really skip breakfast, but I had a very light one since I woke up literally like 10 minutes before the stream. Um, so, fun fact, you're supposed to take this weapon and kill the boss with it because it's a very strong weapon against this boss in particular. Um, this begets the notion that, hey, isn't it more cool to uh, fight the boss normally, without the weapon? I'm here to tell you that I've done that in my first playthrough. Uh, no. It is not more cool. It is frustrating and annoying. My favorite fruit, um... I know the jokes I'm setting myself up for this, but I think a good banana... Uh, might be my favorite. Oranges and pineapples are a very close second for me. Nope, I got... I'm dead. Or not! I really am dead now. Uh... Besides the fruit I've mentioned, I mean, I'm generally okay with fruit. I don't eat a lot of fruit, but... If someone hands me a fruit and says, you want a fruit? I'm like, hey, it's fruit. Free food is free food. Uh, peaches are pretty good. Uh, mangoes. I like sweet fruit. I don't like, uh... I like sweet fruit, I don't like anything overly acidic. Uh, everyone loves strawberries, I'm kind of meh to them. I'll eat a strawberry, I, I, I don't dislike them, but they're, they're alright. Uh, stuff like honeydew and cantaloupes and stuff, uh, I don't think anyone likes them, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Um, 
What? what there's, I feel like there's another one that I want to mention, but I can't remember it. Ah, whatever. What? Well, I mean, I know what happened, but that was dumb. <laughs> uh, grapes are okay. I work at a grocery store. I should be more familiar <laughs> with different kinds of fruit. Um... animation I was expecting. And now it's time for the best cutscene in the game. <sighs> Join the Seven King. to admit, uh, I, like many others, was pretty grossed out at the scene the first time. Not because of the whole... Well... How do I put it? A giant snake felt a little too clean, and then this is like, ah! Right. We're in a FromSoft game. This makes more sense. And of course it has to be a sword. You have a boss of shield. You have a boss of crossbow. You have a boss of well. I was gonna say axe, but uh, hmm. Give him a hammer. There are weapons besides swords, Miyazaki. All right, I'm not very good at this phase. There was lava in my eyes! That's right, stupid delay on that. Ah, 
I need to move right now. I'm dead. I hate this. I actually hate this. I am strongly considering one-time guest appearance uh, calling out the Mimic. Actually, you know what? Well, I don't have any real things on me. Um... Yes, I'm actually going to do this. Because of all bosses, I don't feel like struggling on this one. It's a very cool fight from a spectacle perspective. But, uh, it's annoying, for lack of a better word. I'm not going to use that 9. Uh, I think... Plus 8 should be enough. Maybe. Just possibly. We did anything. I want my money back. Yeah, maybe did a little more than I expect. Yeah, if that last hit did 1500, that's literally like twice as much damage. So, if I die in this part, I have no one to blame but myself. Stupid delay with the sword! Did I? I missed it on the replay. I don't know. I could have sworn I rolled through it. Whatever. gave you permission to deal that much damage. Oh, what's this? Did I unlock, like, the hard mode moveset?
I wish, and I might look into it. Uh, those little on-screen displays of like uh, your your inputs on a controller. I want that so that you all can see I am dodging like a microsecond too late on those. I'm not just sitting there and 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 thinking, uh, what what do? Uh, I'm I'm bad just for very different reasons than one would expect. My turn. No, you don't. Nope. I missed that one by a country mile. Oh well. Absolutely disgusting. It is my understanding that there should be something here. Uh, but I digress. Um, needing like six attempts for that fight was a little shameful, but, oh well. I got him, eventually.
Dio, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you thought that was a cool boss fight. Uh, it definitely is one of the flashier things uh, in the game. But, um, that second phase with all the skulls exploding and stuff is just really, really annoying. I like it up until that point. But, um, hi! And I hope, uh, well, the, the, let me collect my thoughts! Uh, hi there, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I mean it. I appreciate it. You're not willing to kill me, are you? <laughs> uh, not on this playthrough, I guess. Evil has been so kind and uncompromising. I suppose I knew in my heart of hearts how kind and uncompromising you always were. I suppose I'm how kind. Alright, so... Time to pull out the spoil- well, maybe I can just do this. Minor spoiler foo, but I think I know what I have to do here. Emphasis on think. There we go. Now, what does this letter say? And where do we keep the letters? Because I always forget that. Okay. I wish to set out on a journey, so that one day I can carry on Mother's work. Be the proud daughter of Tanith of Volcano Manor. Farewell. You've always been so kind, so uncompromising, my champion. Very sweet. Very wonderful. Very heartfelt, which is, uh... Not how a FromSoft quest is supposed to end. So let's go ahead and give it the ending that it does deserve. I think. No, I guess not this time. Oh, right, we gotta go back here and talk to everyone because Riker's dead and now everyone's like, oh, Volcano Manor's canceled. Uh, get out of the house. You. It's true then. You've defeated our lord. As a champion is wont to do. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then. I must stay the path. And do my part. Hmm. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This perhaps we will oh. meet again along the path. Yeah, perhaps. Oh? Was this item always here? Sure. Welcome back, Golem. You may have missed uh, most of the interesting so, stuff. You killed Rikar. Like that. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind, and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, 
The time has come to rise against the Earth Tree. Oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will, and you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become Who is your brother? Consider this fair warning. Oh, greater will, I am the recusant. We refuse. Uh, if you can tell they're Italian golem, then sure. Um, maybe whatever strange musings of the algorithm have brought you to me are bringing other Italians to me. Not sure why, but okay. Now you've gone and killed Rikard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Cripes, you make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am. Untethered once again. Goodbye, my friend. What is it? Oh, come to make a parting donation to Patches Emporium. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart. Uh, Golem, random comment, but you've mentioned that your English is, uh, it needs work. By pointing out the right lots, I assure you, you, <laughs> you have more, more English writing prowess than, like, 70% of native speakers, so I congratulate you on that. Uh, after the fact, I can tell Emmanuel is a Italian name. I can't say the same for the surname. Uh, Dio is a little trickier because uh, Dio is also the incredibly popular antagonist of the incredibly popular uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. So, that one's a tough call. <laughs> Alright, everyone's scramming. And I happen to know where we have to go. For, uh... Final step of Patch's thing. I think. I hope I didn't miss anything. Man, I want to play Gears of War 2 on this channel, because every time it is incredibly dark in a room, all I can think is to say, It's darker than a rat's ass in here! A lot of bettish titties! But I don't think anyone's going to get why I say that, unless I play Gears of War 2. Is it? Is it Gears 2 or Gears 3? I can't remember, it's been like 15 years. Uh, I was pretty sure Patches is supposed to come back here, unless I am mistaken. Well, no one's in the Volcano Manor now, so... Mm. You never watched JoJo, Golem. Uh, well... I can't pretend to be like that. I didn't watch it until, like, a year ago. Um, it is very, how do I put it? Um, it's campy. If you don't take it too seriously, it's fair. Why? Why would you give me this now? What? Raya's already gone. Well, okay then. Patches is at- Oh, right. He's at Shaded Castle. I forgot about that. Uh, I'll do that some other time. I don't feel like clearing that out now. Um, but yeah, JoJo's is, uh... Uh, 
there there's ups and downs but when you consider that it, it's like an old series and it really did inspire a lot of stuff after it it's a uh, it's just fun um I used to be like you golem but uh when I discovered I will say <laughs> how easy it is to find uh, an Axis anime and TV shows, even if you don't have the money for them. After discovering that, uh, I have watched quite a bit of anime. Uh, it's nice. There, j just like. TVs, movies, and books, there's all kinds of different genres, and I mean, it's pretty much like cracking open the book to me. I find something that's interesting of a certain genre, and it speaks to me in ways that only that genre can. It's kind of the same reason that I... Well, I definitely have preferences with video games, but I... I do try and keep my interest broad. And also, I am honored that I am an exception to your to your interests that uh that means a lot to me uh you also never played gears um it i can't recommend someone to go back and play gears of war now it was kind of more a product of its time but it was cool it was fun and unironically the first game <laughs> is kind of what everyone expects gears of war to be but the second and third games actually had a pretty gripping story. Uh, it was a cool game. Um. Okay. I think I have successfully cleaned up Volcano Manor. And by cleaned up, I mean I've made a mess of it. I've cleaned it up of uh, ne'er-do-wells and delinquents. Otherwise, it just left everything in shambles. Well, if that's how you found me, Golem, then, uh, I consider myself lucky. It's been a pleasure to have you in these streams. It really has been. Uh, Robin is kind of my, uh, my left arm in this venture. Uh, he hasn't been around for the simple purpose that, uh, he hasn't caught up in Elton Ring. <laughs> he's still, he's a busy man. He's trying to get through the game himself. Uh, in case you were wondering where he's been, because, uh, uh well, whatever. And I'm glad you enjoy this Y-Hander, because it's gonna, it's gonna make a comeback on the channel. It really will. But for now, Fartifico has his tale to tell the world. Uh, but that tale will continue another day, because I think I... I think that's an episode. I think I've done what I need to today, so. Hey. Humbly thank you to everyone who's watched today, be it live or in the archive, and I will go ahead and say thank you to Golem for keeping me company this whole time. Uh, thank you to the others who popped their heads in, even though I don't think they're around to hear me right now. But if they are, uh, it really means a lot to me, even if you just stopped to say hi. Uh, even if it was only for a few seconds, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, as usual, we have a Discord server. People like myself and Golem are there. We hang out, have some lighthearted conversation here and there. If that sounds like something you'd like, please feel free to check the description or a link to that server. Let yourself in and, uh, don't worry about tracking mud on the way in because, uh, it's just a place to hang out. It's nothing serious. <laughs> Um, hope you all have a great day. I really do. Take care.